In this video, we're gonna be talking about the idea that it is impossible to know that you are ignorant. So assume that you are. I'm John from BulldogMindset.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be a man, how to build financial independence, how to get the physique you want, how to get the girls that you want, how to go from the victim mindset to what I call the bulldog mindset. If that sounds like something you want to do, click that subscribe button and join us on our mission here. Ignorance is undetectable. I hold beliefs that are beneficial to me, not necessarily true. The truth of a thing is much more difficult to determine. Truth is not all that important. What is important is that the truths you have, how they make you feel, and the effect they have. You, we can only find approximations of truth. There is no way you could ever know what a truth that you hold, or that, that a truth that you hold is absolutely true. Realize you don't need to be searching out the truth. You need to be searching out for what is an effective belief system to hold that makes you both happy and content grateful, fulfilled, and produces the results you want in your life. And that's what's important. Okay. Um, and he said, all the Johns are awesome, but my, but philosopher John is my favorite. Also, please start a discord server. So, uh, so thanks living being, I, I feel like most of you still don't grok this concept. All right. Based on, I, I did some flat earth videos talking about that again. I'm not trying to push flat earth theory or try, even say that I believe in flat earth theory necessarily. You can check out the, the videos and the ridiculous amount of comments on, on them here. But based on that, you know, in those videos, I was trying to get across this concept that supersedes whether the earth is round or flat. That's, that's irregardless. And I'm not going to get into the, into the weeds on that again. All right. But what I want to say about that is that from watching people's comments, all right, a lot of you that I would consider very intelligent people, you're not getting the main, main point. That's why I'm making a video on this is because understanding that it's impossible to know when you're ignorant is extremely important. Understanding that truth is unknowable is really important. I know a lot of you think that you know some truth. You don't really. There is no way to completely know truth. There's a lot of philosophical exercises that we could do that could prove that. All throughout history, philosophers have tried to prove to some degree any amount of absolute truth with no ability to do so, right? For a lot of reasons. Everything that we see, everything that we experience, all is interpreted through our senses, right? And we don't we don't know that we are getting the the correct actual absolute. We don't even know if there is an actual anything outside of us right we don't know everything so, so think of it this way okay this is kind of the place to start is that everything you're experiencing everything you know that you feel that you touch that you think is 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 out there is just signals electrical signals in your brain there is no other method that you have of detecting anything besides electrical signals in your brain to you if you were currently hooked up right now to a computer and you had wires in your head and they were producing running a program okay that just like the matrix all right you would have no way of knowing there would be nothing it would be just the same as as what you're experiencing there we don't know that that's not the case right now right there's no way for us to to conceive that that's not the case at that fundamental level when you take it all the way down there's nothing that you can be sure of all right the only things that that you could possibly be sure of are mathematical truths right things like one plus one equals two okay because it's a logical concept all right but even even some people have made arguments against that you know they've made rational arguments that that pr that try to assert irrationality right or even ration and reason where does that come from what makes that true it, what, what makes that logically lo logically true think about what it means to be ignorant and think about if you're ignorant, you can't know it. Think, I just want you to like meditate on that concept for a little bit and to really think about what that means, what that implies, okay? Just this concept of if you're ignorant, by definition, you cannot be aware of it. There's no way that you can detect it. Your scope of, of observability, of, of understanding, is, is inside of a larger bubble of the truth and there's no way that you can know that you're inside a bubble, okay? That this is this is what ignorance is, right? When when you're ignorant of a thing, there's no way to know because you believe that that's true, 
okay? And, and there's no way for you to detect that it's not. I could hold some truth that, that, that I believe 100% firmly, and there'd be no way for me internally to know that it's not true if I believe that it's true. If you had an inkling of knowledge that you're ignorant about something, you wouldn't be ignorant, you'd cease to be ignorant about it, okay? So the things that you are wrong about, the things that you are ignorant about, you don't know what they are. And you're 100% convinced that you're not. All of us, I'm not just picking on you, I'm talking about me too, right? Each one of us, the things that we are ignorant about, we have no knowledge of our ignorance. It's, it's just a fact of life. So I want you to start there and just agree with me on that. Can you agree with me on that one statement. It's, it's pretty self-evident there, if you follow logic and reason, that the things that you're ignorant of, you have no way of detecting your ignorance. You have no knowledge of Otherwise, you wouldn't be ignorant of it. What if this whole world, the whole entire world as you know it, right? I mean, how far have you traveled on an airplane? Okay, and I'm not trying to get into any kind of flat earth shit. I'm just saying, have you seen the Truman Show? Okay, with the, with the dome? What if you're in the dome right now? How would you know? Okay, in the Truman Show, if you watch that show, he, you know, he, he didn't go across the river or whatever it was. Like the, they, they like had it, you know, in in this bubble, so so it made it so that, you know, it limited his travel. But let's suppose that the whole Earth is in a fucking glass jar, right? As you know it, whether it be round or flat, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's just assume that, you know, how far have you flown before? You know, how far have you gone? How far into space have you gone, right? How do you know that there's anything out there? How do you know that it's not all a stage? How do you know that you're not in a glass jar in a biodome, okay? You don't know that. <clears throat> there's no way to know that, okay? Now, you could say, John, you know, you know, scientists have proved this and that and, and this, but no matter what you say, there's still no way to know that we're not in some kind of a glass dome, right? There's no way for you personally to know that. You need to assume that people more successful than you know something you don't or know what you think is right is actually wrong, okay? What does that mean? This is really the, the critical point because you can't get to the, the, the point that I'm just making now until you've accepted the other things that I've said, right? If you believe that your ignorance is not complete, if you believe that, that you can have knowledge of your own ignorance, then you're gonna miss this, okay? Because the thing that like really changed my life was when I stopped believing that my beliefs and worldviews were absolutely correct, okay? I stopped believing that. I, it, it, what happened was, and I think I, I've told you guys this story before, but it was actually a, a pretty weird book called Think, Think, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Some people say it's a scam. I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. What, what I know is this, is that I tried to pick up that damn book and I read about halfway through it and I'm like, this is bullshit. And I threw the damn thing in the trash. I was like, <laughs> no way. I'm not reading this book. It's stupid. It's bullshit. He's making up shit like all kinds of like ridiculousness. No way. This doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, I don't know why people would like this book. All right. And I thought I was the smart, you know, one and they're fucking idiots. All right. And then I started talking to all these millionaires, decamillionaires, right? People making a lot of money, really successful people. And I'm always asking, whenever I meet these kind of people, I was always asking, you know, what is the number one book that you'd recommend for someone to be successful? And so many people kept on saying, think and grow rich, all right? And I was like, well, you know, at one point I was like, I already I already kind of read that. Like, I know that that's, that's like bullshit. There's like, these people are idiots. These people are fucking idiots. But then I, I, I got to thinking, I was like, you know what? It, it doesn't seem very likely that they're all idiots and I'm the only fucking smart person here. That they're all ignorant and it, like, if you think that everyone else is ignorant and they're more successful than you, <laughs> right? So that's, so that's what, so that's what I started to I said, you know what? Is it possible that I, like, like, you know, that was the moment, the light bulb moment in my head that totally changed my life was when I said, is it possible that my beliefs are incorrect. Is it possible? Is it possible that I'm the ignorant one that I don't even know what I don't know? And when I had that thought, I said, you know what? I'm just going to on faith, I'm going to read this book. I'm just going to like as like give it a chance here and just, you know, cuz all these people recommend it. And I did. Okay? And I still didn't quite, you know, I, I still was skeptical of it. I didn't, you know, but but I, I said I'm just going to follow it. I'm just going to listen to this, right? And I had a lot more success. I, like all of a sudden, like all these things, like 
start clicking and I, I ended up becoming a lot more successful because of that, right? Because I realized, and, and I, it changed my, my worldview to some degree. A lot of things that I thought were ridiculous and woo-woo and out there and crazy, I started to realize were actually quite valuable and became part of my, my belief system. Should you doubt everything? That's, that's, I think that's one of the arguments that a lot of you have come up with. Well, we got to just assume some shit. Can we, we're just going to doubt everything. So, okay, we can't be certain of any kind of truth. So, so you're saying, John, we should doubt everything. No, I'm not saying that. Let's be practical. Let's, let's be pragmatic on this. Okay. There's no need to worry about shit. Like whether the earth is round or flat, it doesn't a fucking affect you. Just assume that it's round and assume those calculations are correct. It's fine. Okay. Just assume whatever <coughs> truth that makes sense. So, like, don't question every single mathematical equation like you're gonna have to just take some things on assumption because it doesn't fucking matter okay now there are certain things that do matter and when your beliefs come into be challenged that's when you reevaluate things but uh, what's most important though is that you don't discard everything and question everything instead you hold beliefs that benefit you and work okay you don't actually need to to figure out the veracity of, of some of these things i know that some of the shit that that I think is true is not true. It, it, uh, a, a lot by virtue, by just by chance, whatever we believe, right? Your, yourself included, myself included, like probably at least like some percentage of it, let's say 25% of it is totally false. The thing about ignorance again is we don't know which, which 25% is false. Okay. We have all these beliefs, right? Let's say that you have a hundred beliefs, 25 of them are false. You don't know which ones. Right? It could be the ones that you think that you're 100% sure are correct. It doesn't matter. 25% of them are wrong. Okay? That, that's just how it's going to play out. Okay? So when you have that, that knowledge of it, then you stop worrying so much about whether your beliefs are true because you can't really know anyway. So instead of like saying, okay, well, is this true? It's more important to say, does this benefit me? Is this effective? Is this an effective belief? This is a, a concept I talk about a lot because that's going to help you to, to live your life, right? So even like, you know, with the religions, right? There's a lot of religions out there, obviously. And I, I don't like judge people or condemn people. I, I used to be like, oh, you're wrong. Like this is a cult. Okay. Or, or whatever. I don't even care anymore. It's like, to me, I'm like, okay, well, is this, is this religion, this theological belief that you have, is it functioning to serve you as a human being? Like, are, are you actually like benefiting from this? Is it making your life better? Right? Right, you know, and then some people say, "Well, you," know, th but they're believing the wrong thing. Well, you know, it's pretty fucking hard to know which is the right thing. All right, so <laughs> Mark Manson actually has a new book called "Everything Is Fucked." I'll, I'll put a link to this. I, I just went through the audio version of this. There'll be a link in the description as well, and it's about nihilism, nihilism, however you want to call it. Okay, and he basically has this premise that like nothing has purpose in in the in the world in the world in life in the universe it's all just random happen chance and it's all meaningless and pointless and you know it's that nihilistic view but he says that he chooses to create a purpose to believe that there's a purpose that there's human and, and it's because it's the beneficial viewpoint that's essentially his whole book is basically starting with the true likely reality of life, which again, we can't know that, but that, that nothing matters, <laughs> a nihilistic viewpoint. But then he layers on top of that and he says, you know what? Fuck, you can believe the nihilistic viewpoint and just fucking hang yourself. All right. Or just not give a fuck about humanity and people and, and, and just be live in depression. Or you can apply some kind of purpose to your life, even if it's false, even if you just fucking made that shit up. Okay. Because that's a better way to live your life, right? That's, that's essentially the message of his entire book. If you didn't get the message of the book, that's what he's saying. He's, he's like, we as human beings have to construct purposes. Not all of them are true. There may not be any truth. All of this might be fucking pointless. None of this might matter at all. Okay. But it's going to make our lives better. It's going to give us something to strive for. We might be right. There might not be, it might not be the nihilistic truth, but he's starting at, at the place uh, of, you know, of where science and the universe would say that we are. Okay. Right. If, if you really, you know, subscribe to all of, all of that literature, you would say that it, it has to be a nihilistic viewpoint, but you see what I'm saying is, is he's saying instead it's important to form views that are actually beneficial to you. That's essentially what he's saying. Study philosophy, get in there and look at what other people have 
said, what the thought experiments are, right? You'll understand this idea more of being ignorant, all right, and accept it when you study philosophy and you see that for thousands of years, men have been trying to figure out that they've devoted their entire lives to trying to just assert one truth. And they haven't really been able to do that, okay? There's guidelines, there's principles, there's things that work. But to prove anything beyond a doubt, or to know that you're not ignorant, is, has proven an impossible task, even for the greatest minds of all history. So, for you to think that you have some kind of knowledge of the truth that you can be certain of, is ridiculous. It's, it's not possible. But, it doesn't mean that you should live your life questioning every single fucking thing, okay? And it doesn't mean that you should endlessly debate things to, to figure out the veracity of them, okay? It, it means that you should pick a belief system if you're going to have one. You should believe as few things as you need to. I've talked about this in a previous video. But if you're going to pick something, pick something that's going to benefit you, that's going to benefit other people, that's going to make you fulfilled, that's going to give you purpose and happiness in life. All right? And then stick to that thing until you have to abandon it for some reason. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.